pretty impressed with this thing. This, whoop. I'm pretty impressed with this thing. It blows the snow really far and it's super easy to use. Hey, what's going on everybody? We finally got some snow here in the St. Louis area and I finally get to test out the 60 volt power shovel that Toro sent me. I'm pretty pumped to use this. I'm gonna just kind of see how far I can make it go on my whole driveway and I'm gonna see how, how much of the sidewalks I can get cleared. Uh, I live on a corner lot, so there's a lot of sidewalk. The sidewalk that wraps all the way down the side of my house as well as in the front. And I have this big driveway that's three car widths wide, so it's a fairly large driveway. And I have never really used any sort of power tools to remove snow. I've traditionally just used this plain old shovel and it has always done the trick. I've never really minded doing it with the shovel because we generally don't get a ton of snow here in the St. Louis area in the first place and that's always sufficed perfectly. We didn't get a ton of snow today. Let's see how much we got. So we got right around two inches of snow, which again really isn't that much snow, but that's generally an average snowfall that we get here in St. Louis. We, we don't typically get feet of snow at a time. We'll just get a few inches here and there. And sometimes if we get that sequentially over days, we'll get, you know, six to eight inches of snow. So this has uh, two speeds. There's a uh, one and then a two. And I think the two is the slow speed. Oh, no, the uh, one is the slow speed, two is the faster speed. So I'm gonna start on the slow speed and see how far I can get. Pretty simple to use, you just push down this and then pull the trigger and it goes. And the battery just pops in. You push this button right here, it pops it out and then just put it in, you just pop it in. Wait till you hear it click and then the door closes and you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and get to work. So all in all, I'm really impressed with that. So I had it on the lowest speed and I got the whole driveway done and I got the sidewalk all the way in front of the house and the whole sidewalk here uh, by the corner. I wasn't able to go down the hill, but uh, for it being a, a pretty small machine, I got a lot done in a very small or short period of time. I probably got all this done in, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes or so. I meant to time it, but I forgot to. But I'm extremely impressed with this. I kept it on the lowest speed the whole time and it had no no trouble powering through any of this. And granted, it's, it was only two inches or so of snow, but uh, still did pretty good, especially down here where the snow is uh, by the street melting and really slushy. It had no problem throwing that snow on its uh, lowest speed. So really cool, really impressed with it. It is a pricey, um, piece of equipment i don't know if i would spend the amount of money it costs for that just to do this because like i said i'm i've always been perfectly fine just using my my normal shovel but i guess if you don't get a lot of snow and you want something really easy to use this would be a, a perfect option for you or if you just have a small driveway or a small deck or even a really large driveway like mine I think it's, it's a good option for you. Um, I thought the ergonomics of it was perfectly fine. I didn't have any trouble holding it or using it. I'm 5'8", I'm relatively short. So if you're six foot or taller, I could see how it might be a little bit more uncomfortable because you might have to bend down a little bit to use it. But I think most shovels, you kind of have to do that as well. So thank you Toro for sending this to me. Thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one.